I've got some songs to share. Uh, they are from an album I put out a year ago. And uh, yeah, it's the first time playing them, um, uh, sharing them. Uh, but I thought to like warm things up, I do an old thing that I've done a little bit in some capacities uh, before. So I'm just gonna do, do an old piece before I get to all the new material. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying my best to be empathetic. But have you considered this? That you're an asshole. <laughs> Sometimes it's true. Sometimes it's true. In these infinite worlds, Sometimes it's true. I'm trying my best to be empathetic. But have you considered this? that you're an asshole. <laughs> sometimes it's true, sometimes it's you. In these infinite worlds, sometimes it's true. So this first song on the album. <laughs> Myself and to yourself, cheers. And so I thought it'd be a nice time to get the song going with, with the cheers. That uh, you know, yeah, anyone can do it. Whether you, I, I don't believe in the like if it's not an alcoholic beverage, you can't cheers. I think drinker and non-drinker alike should be able to partake in this like you know ancient gesture of celebration. And so even if you don't have a drink, you can. You know, just do this and like Rufio it. Because I'm looking for 100% participation. Yeah. Is the goal. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, would, that would be cool. And and if we can do that, then... And I'll say when. I'll say when. I mean, I just think... I, because I think it would be better. That's all. I don't think... It's not about control. It's just I was like, I was listening. I think it's better. It's, it's better at that time. And yeah, we can all just... Oh, look. Okay. So, everyone... <laughs> Look to the person to your left. What do you see? Do you see a person looking away from you? Left? I just always thought that was funny. I was like, how does this work? I don't know. So, look to someone who you want to cheers with, I suppose. It's a better. Um, and so we're going to get this song going, and I'll do like a... Uh, like this. I'll sit, I'll sit, hold on. <laughs> I'll sit now. I think it's now. Yeah, it's like, it's about now. Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. This is really what I'm in now. Thank <laughs> you. 
To which another inquires, can you trust that which pours out? The therapist says, yammer on to me, it's a trust then. She shares, if I hate everything, I've got to get inventing. The financier trails off, how to invent a thing you don't hate? Many agree, hate is unflattering, it's for comic effect. If self-deprecation is comedic, it's certainly comic. Source material, ha, he exclaims and goes on. Parents as source material. The reporter says, your ideas are unoriginal, at least my sources are good. The child thinks aloud, the importance of sharing half thoughts. Supportive parents respond, we can finish them together. A nosy neighbor chimes in, revealing you to you. Someone out for a stroll thinks aloud, how to wrangle all the dummies with improv. A UPS employee says, a momentum? A FedEx employee says, a shared vision. A DHL employee says, a promise of freedom. A USPS employee says, sensuality. Withhold, establish a frame, and release. The Uber Eats driver says, let improvisation be your moral guidelines. The Postmates driver says, after all, it's all about working together and trust without expectation. And the bike messenger says, conflict resolution via listening. A customer points out, there are no police in your fantasy. 
Another asks, how to handle different visions of beauty? A voice in the crowd begins, to be unflattering about yourself is to ask, another interjects, how deep is your love for me? Yet another, please give me the opportunity. And another, do you not know that I take back everything I say? Next song is called To That Mother of Pearl. continues, here's my week, doodles and doodles. Someone replies, good for me. She says, I am anything but only what I want to be. A mathematician states, commute. To which the student replies, frequency, particular attention, aloneness? Um, why do I want to want shit and drivel value? Well, because it's part of reality. Okay, but you have to make sense to yourself first. Right, that can take some time. Someone nearby recites, freedom is first of all freedom from identification. The director says, all entertainment from here the fuck on out. Then adds, the multiple possibilities of every moment, everything can rotate, but express themselves partially, side at a time, if a thing is understood to be spinning. The onset tutor says, let's see what progress can be made in an hour. The group says, Simone has this cool conceptualizing of how a thing wastes energy. The PA says, his internal critic was stronger than reality required. The caterer says, Simone also emphasizes attention, which I've only begun to read about. The assistant director says, so my imagining of it is based on my idea of frequency. The script manager says, I just want to give frequency some attention right now. The best boy says, I'm a big fan of the double activity. A producer says, 
giving attention to a thing without willing all over it. The DP says to give generous attention to. The caterer concludes to reflect on oneself generously. This next song, that's actually very good timing, because that was a driving device, right? It's like a motorcycle. So this next song is called To the Driving Range, which is a golf place. I've never been to the driving range, but, you know, these are songs about imagination and, uh, you know, going, going into yourself and seeing what, you know, where you can go. So, uh, thanks, and I, I hope everyone can be aware of those around them while simultaneously aware of uh, what's going on within them, you could say.
they they repeat. Hold on, one second. Oh, one sec. Oh. oh no! <laughs> they they repeat an endless rearticulation, and he says, "Oh, I'm exactly where I want to be right now." But stay tuned for further updates. Someone says, "To ask a question you believe exists," a coffee drinker explains. Because you just want to hear someone answers someone's answer to that question. The barista notes, it's not necessarily my question. The fourth person in line says, just a question, a phenomenon that exists. The manager pipes up, and I want to know how others address it so that I can formulate my own way. One friend to another, to not get to know anyone, not tonight. I'm just competing with the... The grinder. Uh, one friend to the other. To not get to know anyone, not tonight. The friend. Drama convos as an activity. The friend. Not a path to understanding. The friend again. The idea of a robot saying, just for you. The friend. Catty and contemptuous. Some kid says, how do we decide what we're comfortable laughing at slash about? The principal asks, do we decide? The bully sincerely wonders, is laughing at a thing to disrespect it? The bully's victim points out, perhaps, really depends on the parties involved. The kid playing handball stops. What is it to laugh at a thing? Another handballer. Amusement? Another. Nervousness? The proctor. Anxious? The nurse responds, various reasons. Someone playing soccer shouts. The glow of humor. A parent volunteer states, its physiological benefits are undeniable. The janitor says, do not dismiss. And so this next song is called To Champagne, which is a, another type of cheers. Um, so as, as before, you know, regardless of what's going on, you know, there's the spirit of being aware, and wasn't it you cheer so that your drinks spill into each other, so if anyone was poisoned, everyone's poisoned? That's like the... My uh, something like that. A uh, sense of connection. Mutually assured destruction or something. So, two champagne. Ce celebration.
thank you, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad. Yeah. It's nice to, nice to know they want it. How about that? A true player asks, what sorts of problems does math tackle? A Californian responds, accounting problem. The a &R rep says, what's the relationship of these quantities? The intern stutters nervously, John Cage and foxes. A hiker continues, said something about appreciating common spaces. A park ranger says, I hope you are using every moment to establish what it is you do and do not like. Someone on a stroll says, maintaining a coherency that must acknowledge the other to function. A tourist says, that doesn't represent me. A stranger says, that sweet state of not thinking. And a near and dear friend says, I love how much it doesn't make me think of it. A superior says, taste has to be shaped by something. An inferior says, helps me to think. Someone in a crowd says, but biology, yeah, forgot. An acquaintance of theirs says, this ritual will transform your whole day. The mayor says, it's all coming up simultaneously, and that feels like enough connection to me now. A photographer says, I'm okay with rolling with that. One jump roper says, the vanity in thinking I could know. The other jump roper says, the vanity in thinking that someone is watching. A florist says, my existence should be okay. Their assistant says, that's for sure something everybody feels. Someone with a stroller asks, how do you express slash feel this? A teenager proposes, through hate. A person on a walk adds, through unnecessary comparison. Another walker says, what, are you putting me, anyone down? The toddler in the stroller says, I don't think your ability to listen to me should depend on my identity. This next song is called To Bergama. Uh, you know, it's a little, a little lighter, more of a, more of a treat sort of thing. So I hope, I hope it's received as such, just a fragrant thing. I always, I always like to like that.
getting a martini shake and not stirred back there. They ask, what are solutions to self-governance? They respond, drugs? They come back, dynamic normalization? They retort, cigarettes, punk? They push further. How do you know you're doing you and not fulfilling slash responding to a guilt? They ask, what are criticisms you don't value? They reply, to deter to the non-present authority. They say, it can be easy. It's fun to find what arouses you. They add, what aesthetically awakens you? They ask, but what about when nothing does? They ask another question. How do you know how to act? They figure, hopefully some structures are in place, some techniques. They offer a service, how to enact a life without the gaze. They say, controlling, they say, controlling time and activities. They relate, I want, to I want to control my time and activities. They agree. Some criticisms are just a provocation. This last one is called To a Victory Yet Defined, which to me sounds like something to cheers to. So, uh, yeah, hang in there. Thanks for coming out. We got RX in 2070 up next. Um, yeah, what a, what, a, what a fun night. And, uh, here we go, here we go.
I, I was planning on refunding the, the, the delivery fee that was paid. Uh, so yeah, anyhow. Yeah, thanks. Uh, excited for what's up next. If you haven't seen RX, you're really in for a treat. I've seen them. I'm proud. I like to say I've maybe seen them more than anyone. That's all. Well, big fan, big fan. Woo! 